Explosions in a gun battle rocking Kabul as the Taliban attack the Afghan capital today. Charles Levinson joins us now. He is in Kabul. He is at a U.N. compound uh, right next door to where a lot of this action has been unfolding. Charles, tell us what the scene is now and what you know so far about what's occurred. Well, the scene right now is being appear to have finally quieted down just in the last few minutes, I'd say, half an hour at most. Uh, but a little uh, this afternoon, a little after 4 p.m., there was a huge explosion. I was by, by coincidence in the U.N. compound um, for a meeting. The, a big, there was a big explosion, fairly close. That was followed by, shortly after, by a couple other explosions. And then for the next several hours, I mean, we heard the sustained gunfire, gunfire, you know, firefights. On continuous explosions sporadically, it sounded like there were some RPGs. Perhaps um, wasn't quite quite clear. Um, and, and 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 only recently uh, has it has it started to calm down several hours after the initial attack. Um, it was, there was a lot of confusion about what exactly was attacked by the Taliban. At first, it was reported that it was a uh, Afghan uh, police headquarters. The, the, the Taliban said it was the CIA that they were uh, attacking. Um, it, it appears, though, now that actually a, a UN agency compound called the International Organization for Migration, uh, which actually helps uh, get Afghans who work with Western agencies, uh, helps them might immigrate to other other countries, uh, may have been targeted in the attack. Um, we know that uh, so far two UN staffers appear to have been seriously injured, um, another number of them more minor wounds. Um, uh, we've heard in preliminary reports that at least one Afghan police guard was killed and, and, and more wounded, but those were very preliminary, we're not quite sure. Um, UN, U.S. soldiers were brought in to escort wounded out of the area to the U.N. compound, but we're not clear, we're not sure if they played any further role or what role they might have played in helping to sort of parry the attack. And Charles, it's been quite a week of upheaval in Kabul. This uh, this attack and these this this, these gun, this gun battle coming a week after a suicide attack killed 16 people there. Six of them Americans. Just from what you're knowing, I know it's still very early, and you're right in the middle of it. But has there is there any connection between those two attacks? Well, you know, this is you know, once the the winter ends here, the the the, the so-called fighting season begins, and and the fighting season has begun just in the past few weeks, and and we're seeing. You know, we're seeing signs of that. This sort of state of attacks is sort of the Taliban kicking into into gear. Um, you know, this is this 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 next few weeks and months is going to tell us sort of the potency of the Taliban and the insurgency in this country. Um, and and you know, the, the past the past couple of weeks with the the, the flurry of attacks we've seen, you know, the indications are not all that encouraging. I mean, the signs are that this insurgency obviously still does retain a, a pretty uh, potent fight. All right, Charles Levinson, he is reporting live from us right now in Kabul, Afghanistan, where a series of gunfire and gun battles have broken out. Uh, thank you, Charles, for that report. We'll be back to you later in the day for more.